No. Why, do, why do people feel like dating outside of their culture is similar to, oh, if I date outside of my community, then I don't have access to the resources that the community give to people who date within the community. As if the culture is going to take care of you when you're single and lonely and on your deathbed. I don't think my culture would take from me. I don't know. I don't know if you was directing it to me or in general. I'm just saying, like you said, you that's that's enough of already dating outside of your culture, as if the culture is a barrier of protection. I, I, it's just that you get discouraged. Um, Caribbean, you already know there's beef between Caribbean and Black people sometimes. Um, some both on both sides, I can see where they're right. With both sides, I can see where they're wrong. So there's enough cultural differences. And, and <clears throat> what is, can you explain what elaborate on the beef and how that relates to your discouraging your relationship? Um, so sometimes Caribbean people might have a chip on their shoulder and they might say like, oh, don't be like you know, certain kind of people because they don't like have the same kind of beliefs that we do. And they're just being ignorant. It's kind of like um, colonialism kind of affected the world. And I didn't know that. So they kind of think of, you know, white people on a certain level, black people a certain level, and then their culture on a certain level. And it's kind of like um, just being hypocrites and not really understanding. So that's why you got a lot of um, discouragement. You know, everybody want to be with their own kind. But if you were born, like for me, I never been to Haiti. So I can't really relate to people. I'm not Haitian enough to be Haitian. I'm not American enough to be American. So I'm kind of like in between already. And I see how that can cause a rift in your identity. So why would I have a child with a, a person outside of my race? And now they're talking about they're biracial, not black. I would be offended. You know what I mean? So certain things that I feel like I can do, it's not about what I lose in the community because I'm still part of the community, but it's more what I can leave behind. I want to leave behind solid black families and that would deter my mission personally. So I had to make that personal choice, but I don't get offended if somebody else did. More black people. I'm good. You know why they have to say that they're biracial? They don't want to offend one parent. No, it's not that. <laughs> <laughs> That's real. No, it's it's not that. It's because if you think about it, right? If somebody, if we just if we just call them black, if if they say I'm black, they have just as much right to claim whiteness as well. Like they should be able to go outside regardless of their skin color and say, Yes, I'm white. So because of that, they normally say that they're biracial because of that. Because I feel like they want the, the benefits of being white, but they still got to live with the consequences of being black. So why not identify as black? Because it's go, you're going to pick the race when it's convenient. In certain in certain arenas, you in certain environments, you might pick one, and uh, the other should, environment, you pick the other. They should be able to claim both equally. But, yeah, but say say both every time. That's what biracial means. But I don't think everybody does that. I think a lot of people that say biracial more more so want to identify with one more than the other, meaning I'm not black. When black people hear, well, in my case, when I hear I'm biracial, sometimes it makes me feel like you don't want to say you're black. Have you, you know ever I mean? asked them that? Have you asked them ever asked a person why do you claim biracial rather than? I'm going. I, I understand. I, I I can say I'm I'm Haitian and American. You know, I can say I'm Haitian and I'm black. You know, I could say that, but everybody's not going to claim that. A lot of people, Haitian people just say they're Haitian. They don't say they're black. But that no. is like denying that you're a part of some bigger cu culture to me. I just, find it, I just find it interesting that the loyalty to the culture is so strong. Me personally, and this is my opinion, and, it, and it's not to put none on you, but if I'm going to be loyalty to a culture, the only reason why I would do that or to a bloodline or whatever you want to call it, is if I'm protecting some type of inheritance or some type of uh, thing I'm getting, you know, for being able to maintain my staying within the confines of a group. But if it ain't no protection, it ain't no benefit, no resources coming from it, no inheritance, I'm going to date whoever the hell I, I feel. I'm going to be like Hannah's always. I'm going to date yeah. the person that makes more sense for me. I'm going to match up with whoever I find interesting in, and I'm not going to let the confines of of a, a, a tribe or whatever you want to call it, restrict me from having as many options as possible to be able to find somebody for a meaningful relationship. There are benefits to being 
another culture, speak another language. I make more money speaking Creole, selling real estate. So, um, and also in their community, you, you they lose save, those powers if you if they, you would with a white man. They save they save money together. They pull their money together. It, they everybody knows each other. So if well, you not, so if you married outside your race, you would lose those benefits. No, but I I feel like it would be better for me not to have a child that doesn't. My kids don't even speak Creole. It's a detriment to them when you have family members that speak a different language. You can't speak to them. It, you kind of put yourself outside the culture when you don't speak the language. You said, "But saying? where do they live at?" They live in they live in, in America. So they live outside of the culture, and they speak outside of the culture. And you're saying that's a, that's a detriment. Yeah, because they can't identify with the people that had the most resources, which is their family. So Why I not? What if the other family has more resources? What do you mean has the resources? He's talking about resources, right? Talk about benefits, and that's why I said the man has more resources and he's white. I'm confused. Well, is Kenny pass my whiteness to my son? What you see what I'm saying? Like, what, what, you what said other resources, things? not okay, whiteness? Money. Okay, I'm not going to, but I'm loyal to the black man, so I'm not choosing a white man over money. So, why did you bring up resources? He brought up resources, not me. Well, he asked about the resources because you said that they wouldn't have access because, you know what I mean, they're dis they're disconnected from that community. So he was asking for clarification by saying, hey, do you think that by you, if you were to marry and have children with a white man, would that would he not have the resources or the access to the Caribbean side of your family? And you said no. no. You said he, they would still have the same access. So I... At that point, I guess what he's saying is that it really doesn't matter who you marry. Your kids are going to still have access to their family regardless. And so they that should. doesn't mean there's no consequences to who I marry. I what know would how the consequence if, be? If you're building a family, right, and you want your kids to have certain kind of values, you got to see where where are my where am I going to find those values? I don't find those values outside in a, in a different race. I want my children to be proud that they're black. I don't want them to have the question. Which wh who who do I want to identify with today or period? Why would they question it? If they if they had a white father, they would question that. No, not as long as you there. You telling me question? that you telling me that a, a a kid will question will look at his father or look to you and say, "Why is my father white?" No, they would they would have to grapple all the time. It's enough being black. Why put them in saying, "Oh well." I'm 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 white and I'm black and I don't know like my I, I was the I was the slave master and I was the slave back in the day like I have guilt and I have shame